So last week I made a video uh, right here, either on YouTube or IGTV, about the iPhone 12 Pro. Not the Mac size, but the 12 Pro. And I basically laid out the fact that I thought uh, the material choice of stainless steel uh, combined with the overall size uh, just felt awkward in my hand. I did not like the fact that the phone was a little bit bigger than my 11 Pro, plus it had rounded edges, plus the stainless steel. It was just an awkward mess. Uh, so I returned it. I, I sent back the Pro first time since I've owned an iPhone that I've sent back the best model you could buy. Um, I was just sick and tired of the overall size. And today, I got my iPhone 12 mini. I've actually got a lineup of phones here. I don't have, you know, all the new phones and I don't have all the old phones, but just to give you some relative sense of comparison, uh, I wanted to show you uh, the original iPhone. So that's what this, this little guy is, the iPhone 1. If you were ever an owner of the iPhone 1, uh, <laughs> this is how the 12 mini compares. in size. I would say it's actually much more along the lines of the SE. So if you ever owned the iPhone 5 or the more recent iPhone SE, it's definitely in that ballpark in, in terms of overall footprint. But what I never liked about the SE, though I loved the form factor and overall size, the screen not being edge to edge was always just too small, too limiting. Obviously the iPhone 12 mini being edge to edge with its display, uh, I think it's the perfect size. I didn't look this up, but it does feel like it's uh, got an aluminum edge instead of stainless steel. So you get more of this matte finish. For some reason, I decided to go seafoam green. I don't know why. <laughs> it's not really uh, aligned with my personality, but I've always gone like white or black. So I just wanted something different. I, it feels fantastic. I love the screen size. Uh, this is it for me, the iPhone 12 mini. You don't get the quote professional uh, camera photos, but honestly, I don't remember the last time I used uh, a picture I took from an iPhone. As good as these cameras are, I don't remember the last time I used photos uh, and preferred it over my actual professional camera, um, other than maybe a few low light uh, circumstances. The lenses that this phone comes with is uh, ultra wide and standard, and you still get portrait mode as an option. So I would say as far as features go, the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini are perfectly fine, exact same processor, uh, as the pro versions. Um, it's just a difference in camera more than anything else. And this camera is way more than good enough. Uh, I would much rather have this form factor uh, because this is ever present. This is always in my pocket. This is always you know, in use or in my hand. The camera, yes, I use it often, but it's, it's not the priority for me in terms of overall form factor. Uh, so I'm very happy with the 12 mini size. We'll see how, how good the battery life goes overall. Only complaints, if there are any, they didn't put the power button uh, to the top. I really, really preferred that. And they did that with the uh, iPhone SE and the iPhone 5, uh, but not on this one. I guess maybe there's something internally with the camera that prevents them from doing that. I'm constantly, uh, you know, accidentally taking screenshots with the volume down and power button. So, I, and naturally it just feels with this form factor that the power button would be right there, but it's not. So that's kind of annoying. I uh, also wish, you know, Apple would go ahead and make the jump to USB-C for their phones, but uh, that's whatever. They do have the MagSafe uh, connection for the iPhone 12 and 12 mini, which we'll see if that's useful or not. This, I think, again, just looks kind of stupid, but whatever, maybe functionally it'll prove to be really helpful, who knows? I mostly use Qi charging, so I doubt I'll use the MagSafe charger very much. Time will tell. If you're on the fence and if you like a reasonable sized phone, uh, I would I would absolutely go with this. Not the 12, I'm pretty sure the 12 is more similar to the uh, like 11 or the X series phone. You can see them side by side here. This is the 11 Pro. Uh, and I really liked the, the size and shape of the 11 Pro being with the rounded corners, but it still was always just a little bit bigger than I would otherwise prefer. Uh, you know, every time I pick this up on my hand, I have to reach a little further than I'd like. 12 mini seems to solve that. I, again, very happy. I am bought and sold iPhone 12 mini. This is the one that I'd recommend for the vast majority of people. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions or thoughts. As always, I appreciate your attention. Bye.